Okay, so we're looking at the weights of sorry about the pronunciations. Okayama Yume Hakuto peaches in Japan. Um these are kind of gourmet, deluxe, super delicious, amazing peaches in Japan that are actually quite expensive. For instance, you could pay like nine dollars for a single peach. Um but they're big and juicy and pretty fancy. So Anyways, um, the weights of these peaches can be modeled by a normal distribution with a mean of 375 grams and a standard deviation of 50 grams. The prices for the peaches sold is listed as follows. So here we have the weights of peaches in their grams, less than 330, between 330 and 420, and greater than 420, and the price that they'll charge you for each peach. So the small ones obviously less expensive and the large ones more expensive. So the first question here is find the mean cost of the peach and the standard deviation. And so when I see mean there, I should probably be thinking, oh, this might be looking at expected value. Um, and it is. So we need to find the expected value. And remember, to do that, we need something like this x values, but underneath we should have a probability row. Probability of x happening. So we're missing that information. We gotta put it in here. So that begs the question, obviously, how do we figure out the probability of these peaches being of a certain weight? Well, they've given us the mean and the standard deviation. This is continuous data set, so I'm thinking I might be able to use the normal distribution to figure out what the probabilities are for these. Um, so, yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. We need to use the normal distribution. So if you think about normal, often it's helpful to sketch yourself up a graph. So let's think about that situation. I've got a mean of 375, a standard deviation of 50, and in this particular one, I'm looking for less than 330. So 330 is obviously below the mean. I want to find the probability for that. I've got another group that I'm going to look at here, 375 in the middle. And I want to go between 330 and 420. So that's the section in the middle. And down at this end, 375 with the mean, and I'm looking for peaches over 420 grams. So I need to use my normal distribution to figure all these different ones out. So we can go into normal, and my lower bound on this one, for instance, would be minus 1 times 10 to the 99. The upper bound would be 330. And then we've got our mean and our standard deviation. I can never remember what order, so let's look here. Um, going back to distributions, normal, CD, uh, sigma, and then mean. So my standard deviation is 50 and my mean is 375. So that's what we'll put into the calculator. Um, minus 1 E99, 330, 50, 375. And my probability there? 0.1840, or 0.481, I guess if we round it. So 0.1841. And if we do the same on the others, using our normal distribution, putting in the lower and upper limits there, and my lower and upper limit being 1 times 10 to the 99, you'll get numbers that go like this, 0 0.63, 0 0.6319, and 0 0.1841. So a bit of symmetry there, which we might expect. Um, 330 and 420 are roughly the same distance from the mean either side. So those are the probabilities, and now that we know our probabilities, we can actually find the expected value. So our expected value of x, again, I can times these numbers together and then add them all up. Or you can go into your calculator and use um, stats. So I might just do that again so you see it as an example. Um, stat, exit, 
So here, putting in my values, I've got a $4 peach, a $6 peach, and a $9 peach. Four, six, nine, and my probabilities are zero point one eight four one, zero point six three one nine, and zero point one eight four one. And again, it's calc. Make sure it's set appropriately, and variable one. So here I have a mean of 6.18 and a standard deviation of 1.53. So again, my mean is $6.18. I'm going to round it because we're talking about money to 6.18. And the standard deviation there is $1.54. So on average, the mean cost for peach from this um, orchard is going to be $6.18. So the next question they're asking here is taking it one step further again. If the grower sells 600 peaches, what would their profits ex be expected to be? So this is expected value in kind of the probability sense, but here we're thinking about, well, the number of peaches times the expected profit that you would get, or times the probability in that case. I guess it's not really the probability, it's, let's do this. Think about doing this, it's the number of peaches, times, well, how much do you expect to pay for each piece, peach, so expected cost of each peach. So that's going to be 600 times, I'm expecting to pay on average $6.18 per peach, so that totals up to $3,708 free round. So if a particular grower sells 600 of these peaches, he's looking at making a profit of, you know, $3,708. So sometimes they ask you to find the mean, and you do have to think about how to set up your distribution table. You'll have to find probabilities. Sometimes that's using other information, like a normal curve. Um, and if they ask you to kind of look at an expected profit, well, once you know the average, you just times it by the number of nights that you're going to stay in the hotel, or peaches you're going to sell, or whatever it is, and you should be able to get your value there.